Hello everybody, welcome to a brand new episode of The Toy Shelf. I'm your host, Mitch Live. And I have a dark passenger. It's like a compulsion. Something deep inside me. It drives me to spend money I don't have on things that I don't need. Like toys. Like this six inch Dexter action figure by Biff Bang Pow Toys. You know, Biff Bang Pow Toys. Dexter is of course, as noted on the box, America's favorite serial killer. From the hit TV show from Showtime of the same name, Dexter. The series Dexter is back for a limited run, and while there is a ton of hype around this comeback, this figure is not something that they started pumping out as soon as a reboot was announced. I'm looking at you, Ghostbusters Afterlife. This actually came out from when the series was actually still running. Anyways, Dexter Morgan, besides being a serial killer, is also a forensic investigator. Specifically, he's a blood splatter analyst and the adopted son of a cop. He's also very close to his adopted sister, who is also a cop. And all of them all work at the same precinct because I'm sure that happens all the time. The premise of the show totally absolves the audience of any remorse for rooting for this guy because he actually does have a very strong moral code. Because even though he's a serial killer, he is a serial killer who only kills serial killers. Anyway, enough about the show Dexter. Uh, let's have a look at this uh, very vintage, well-worn in box before we completely rip it apart and uh, have a look. So over here, you see the Biff Bang Pow toy logo. And again, I don't think I've ever owned another Biff Bang Pow toy, uh, but it looks kind of like, uh, similar to a eight inch NECA toy where you'd see, you know, he's got clearly got the fabric clothing. Uh, we'll see when we pull him out of the box, what the quality is actually like. And of course you see, he's got all his accessories, including the uh, blood slide, which is a very iconic Dexter keepsake. A little picture of Dexter sharpening his blade there. And as noted at the bottom of the box here, this is specifically work jumpsuit Dexter. Looking at the back, you'll see that there's actually a few versions of Dexter from this manufacturer. From what I could find, all of the other ones are four inch scale, and this is the only one of him actually standing six inches tall. There's a Dexter in plain clothes with a knife in the outfit that he typically wears when he's going to abduct a victim. The other one has him wearing the same apron. And he's got the full plastic face shield, but he did it before it was cool. The one accessory that the smaller figures have that this guy does not is a garbage bag full of people parts. As you can see, this manufacturer also makes a whole bunch of bobblehead figures. They make pretty much every main character from the series in bobblehead form. And they even make a couple bobbleheads of just Dexter. I, damn you ultimate, uh, nobody cares. Oh, and also you'll notice this 1999 sticker. That's right. I got lucky and I found this guy at Value Village for 20 bucks. Sometimes you get lucky. In case you're watching from another country, Value Village is just, it's a local thrift store. All right, let's open this baby up. Let's crack her open like a freshly abducted serial killer. Who's a good box? I don't know much about this Biff Bang Pow, but I do know that they're only gonna make me untwist one twist tie. Way to go, Biff Bang Pow. And here he is, fresh out of his packaging, Dexter Morgan, with his bone saw, face shield, and slick little blood slide. Now, I can't really give them points for accuracy in this particular accessory because there's no way that in his collection of blood slides that he has his fing name on the blood slide. Clearly this blood slide is like people sized and not Dexter sized here. Otherwise it would be much, much smaller. And uh, oh, I'm actually noticing this is not just any blood slide. This blood slide belongs to Arthur Mitchell, which is of course the Trinity killer played by the one and only John Lithgow. And may I say my favorite serial killer uh, besides Dexter, my favorite bad serial killer I mean, all serial killers are bad. I mean, I really liked John Lithgow in the show is what I'm saying. Anyways, it's not important. And also, the blood itself is just kind of a little sticker that sits on the front. So when you look at it from the Arthur Mitchell side, it looks kind of dull. It looks a lot more detailed on the uh, Dexter side. And again, nobody would be dumb enough to put their own name on their murder souvenir because the blood slides, as anybody who watches Dexter knows, uh, a blood slide is what he collects from each one of his victims. So looking closer at the figure, uh, he has 
fabric clothing, which actually fits very tight, which is uh, good, because normally uh, action figures with fabric clothing, it sits too loose. I, I, I don't like it sometimes. And I would say that it is similar quality to like a NECA cloth figure. His apron is a, a cheap fake leather, but it looks really good. He's also wearing like a hard molded plastic shirt, which is a very clearly iconic Dexter shirt. That's, that's just Dexter's shirt. That's what he wears. The quality and detail in this figure is, is, is pretty friggin' good. You'll notice that he's wearing these white medical gloves. Uh, I, I guess he's at work. He's, he's either at work or he's having fun. Is there really a difference for Dexter? He does not have any articulation in his wrists, but he's got uh, elbow and shoulder movement. And he's got no knee or hip movement or ankle movement. So he is stiff from the waist down. But it's fine that his legs don't move because he stands. In terms of likeness to the character slash actor, I think they do a pretty good job, especially in terms of his just build and stature. And his face is pretty, pretty good. It's pretty close. I mean, I wouldn't need a box or his name across a blood slide to recognize that this is America's favorite serial killer, Dexter. Well, that's a wrap for this week. Thanks so much for hanging out with us on the toy shelf. And remember, no matter how hard you try to fight the dark passenger inside you, you're never too old to play with toys.